miss, I'm a miss, I'm a motherfucking miss, I'm a miss, I'm a miss, I'm a motherfucking miss, I'm a miss, I'm a miss, I'm a motherfucking miss, I'm a miss, I'm a miss, I'm a miss. What's up, Shady Crew? It's your boy, Hiatus James, a.k.a. The Throw King, and I am back with another reaction video. Now, this video is sponsored by the comment that was requesting set video uh, by none other than Mr. Alan D. Salute to you uh, for that requested video. Um, so the track that we're going to react to today is Mises, Gates of Hell. Um, now, this track originally dropped... Um, somewhere around July of 2020. Um, but the the actual video for it, uh, Mises just dropped. Now, you guys already know my take when it comes to Mises. Definitely a dope MC. Definitely love his vibe. I love the way that he approaches um, the track. Um, and we're gonna take a look at, at this. Um, it's called Gates of Hell, just from the image. Um, it looks like there's a syringe of some kind that's going on. You can see what I see. Um, so we're gonna jump into this vid, man. We're gonna take a look at it. We're gonna uh, break down uh, the the message in, in this track. Um, I'm expecting it to be lit. I mean, pretty much the vids that I've seen of Mises, the music I've listened to has been dope. Um, I've enjoyed it. So we're gonna jump into it and uh, check out what he's spitting in this one. So without further ado, let's hop into this track. I ain't gonna take the bait, I ain't gonna vaccinate I can read between the lines, Billy Gate don't have to say okay. 12, 8, 80, listen, I wasn't born yesterday That's the day my mama birthed me, thank God that ain't masturbate Gather around, pull up a chair, we gon' have a chat today I'm cooking up some food for thought, grab a plate, get your napkin straight Cause it's about to get messy, that's why I ain't dressed Dressy, I'm about to spill the beans, long as the internet Let's be getting on okay. some thin ice, you could call the kid Gretzky, I believe in Jay Grace I ain't scared of death, bet me every dollar in your bank account, Billy, you had to kill me for I willingly let you chip me, I really hope you feel me, cause I'm really being serious, I'm ballin' out, Millie and the safety off of my safety, please don't try, Billy. Bitch, you know you don't care about no dying people, only thing you care about is who supply needles, rich get rich and poor get sick of crying out to Jesus, guess the Bible right, love a dollar signs is evil, I ain't stupid, I know what... <laughs> Um, yo, so I like the take that he's uh, taking. So uh, Mises uh, is basically coming from the perspective that, you know, in his, in what he believes in, he believes in Jesus Christ. So, you know, he's not for the vaccination. He's dealing with the fact of Bill Gates um, and the push for vac vaccinations to be done for COVID-19 and just how, um, you know, the pharmaceutical companies are more driven by uh, making money than they are concerned about people's health. Um, and I mean, we've seen this time and ten, time and time again. Uh, when it comes to the government, if you think that the government is concerned about your well-being, you are mistaken. <laughs> you are mistaken. They will do whatever's in the best interest of the country, and that may or may not include you. Um, so, I mean, so far, uh, what he's saying is facts, you know, um, there's a lot of people that actually believe that, um, you know, the COVID vaccine, and like I said, this is a track that was released, um, back in, in July of last year. And now, you know, fast forward, we have the vaccine, we have people being suggested to take the vaccine, and then we have an alarming rate of people actually dying from taking the vaccination. So like, it's, there's a lot of stuff that's going on behind the scenes, in front of the scenes, um, that kind of resonates with this uh, track, and um, I do like the direction uh, that he's going in this. Um, so let's hop back in, let's see what else he's spitting. Guess the Bible right, love a dollar signs of Z I ain't stupid, I know what the hell you do Hell no, I won't do it just because you tell me to Man, no, I don't give a damn, make it mandatory Hell no, I ain't fucking with your plan in the store Okay, let me calm down Maybe I'm overreacting Maybe this really won't happen And maybe my dick will grow as big as the 5G towers <laughs> And I get paid by the hour to fuck models And bust on ton of dolls I throw went from rapping Talking conspiracy, but he does it so lyrically gifted. You think that he must be reading through all of Hillary's emails? Female does all I see 
ain't none of them know how to speak You are the company you keep So I don't hang with any sheep But I don't hang with wolves either I see you in sheep's clothing Standing at your pulpit preaching That's why churches keep closing That's why people in the pews Don't unite with equal views Cause y'all don't wanna teach the truth Rather keep us all confused Bitch, you know you don't care about no dying people Only thing you care about is who supply needles Rich get rich and poor get sick of crying out to Jesus Guess the Bible right, love a dollar signs of Z I ain't stupid, I know what the hell you do no. I won't do it just because you tell me do it Man, no. I don't give a damn, make it mandatory <laughs> no. I ain't fucking with your plan and the score Okay, let me calm down Fuck that, I'm a wild out Cause I've been calm ever since I done killed that clown from wild enough Means that's where you been, bro I've been with my pen, yo Chatting shit to change the world <laughs> Too bad it's gonna end, no Hell no, I ain't going out without a fight, Bill I don't know about politics, but I know this ain't right, Bill Speak of politics, could've swore that we had some rights, Bill Called the Bill of Rights, Bill of Rights Ain't that right, Bill? How they will scare them with Corona Then we'll have a shot to trick them into getting shots Bitch, I think not Kick rocks, bitch, I'm hip-hop Grew up on Big and Pop Which means I'd rather get shot Before you giving me a shot Dang Fuck em. Bitch, you know you don't care about no dying people only thing you care about is who supply needles Rich get rich and poor get sick of crying out to Jesus Guess the Bible right, love a dollar signs of Z I ain't stupid, I know what the hell you do I won't do it just because you tell me do it I don't give a damn, make it mandatory I ain't fucking with your plan and the story No way. <laughs> All right, we're going to stop it right there, man. Uh, so Mises uh, Gates of Hell video definitely was lit for me, man. I definitely enjoyed, um, you know, the message behind this, the visuals um, and what he was stating, you know, and him taking this platform to speak from his perspective. Now, here's the thing, man. When it comes to conversations like this, um, where you're talking about vaccination, no vax versus uh, vaccine a lot of people get in their their feelings you know what i'm saying and you got to understand that you're in situations you know you have two sides of, of of a story and the truth lies somewhere in the middle you know so um you can't just believe everything that's being stated to you you know like every year you got to think about things uh logically every year you take um a flu flu vaccine it doesn't prevent you from getting the flu, but you take a vaccine that could possibly give you the flu so that your immunity is built up so that you don't catch the flu. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yo, there are so many other ways for you to build up your immunity um, so that you don't even catch the flu, you know? Um, it, And I, I just, like, most people think that a COVID vaccine is the cure. There is no cure for the vaccine thus the conversation you take a flu vaccine every year if there was a cure you wouldn't have to continually keep taking a vaccination <laughs> it's like when you go to the doctor you know because you don't cut your your knee like they stitch it up so that it heals you don't have to go back every day for them to re-stitch it for it to like you know what i mean like understand the difference between curing something and preventive measures like there is a difference and and the thing about it is and being so careful um when it comes to like the vaccine like when um when you're dealing with sicknesses they tend for viruses you know the only way that you can get over a virus is taking a nap like your body has to fight it off so they normally just treat the symptoms that show up you know when when it turns into pneumonia they treat the pneumonia part of it um the, the breathing issues they treat that the coughing you know that's why you go to the store and you get the medication that treats the symptom that you're showing um but there isn't a cure for COVID 19 just like there isn't a cure for the flu there isn't a cure for the common cold like there are things that treat the symptoms so that your body can fight it off and you can hopefully eventually get better. 
and it doesn't turn deadly. Um, and so we're still finding out new things about COVID because this is a new strand. Um, there's mutations, like there's so much stuff that's going on. And when it comes to a vaccine, normally there's like a two, three year uh, study, like trial, trial and error. Like, I don't understand the rush, <laughs> bro. Like, slow down. I would rather you get it right than put my life in danger. And that's literally what Mises is saying in this track, bro. Like, you're more concerned about the financial side of things and getting money. So you rush a vaccine because if there's a, a issue or an epidemic, we're, we're automatically programmed to look for a cure. And we trust that our elected officials wouldn't give us something that would kill us. Feel me? <laughs> so like, I get what he's saying in the track. Now, again, everybody's gonna have a mixed opinion depending on what you, like if you've experienced COVID and you've been on death's door, you might feel like, you know, yeah, vaccine would probably have helped me. Now we don't know for sure if that is the case, but I can understand both sides of the argument. It's just, you know, when it comes down to it, like people have to deal with, with the facts and stop being so quick to just assume and make assumptions without the facts. Like I said, there's always two sides to a story and the truth is somewhere in the middle. Um, now for me, I don't personally uh, take vaccinations. I, I do what I need to do to build my immunity through vitamin C and other, other means, healthy means of trying to make sure that, you know, my immunity is high. So I don't have to really deal with those situations, uh, when it comes to colds and stuff like that. And I'm rarely sick. Doesn't mean that I can't get sick. And it doesn't mean that I can't catch something like COVID. Like it's out there. Um, but at the same time, for me, a vaccine would be the very last result. I don't want to end up having the, the, the um, strand to be inside of me in order for me, because it could go left. <laughs> you feel me? Like it's one, it's a, it's a dangerous game. Even though they say that the screen and not to be so long winded, I'm sorry. When it comes to the to to this topic, man, it's just it's just one, it's a touchy subject, man, because everybody feels, especially in today's day and age, with with internet and people kind of self diagnose themselves as doctors and stuff, and it's like if you've lived long enough, you see the patterns. Like I I remember as a kid going and getting certain shots for certain things, and you know. Um, that that we would have to and we we will be required in order for us to be able to go to school you know like i remember those those times and it didn't mean that i didn't get it and a lot of times as people will tell you even after flu shots like after i you do the flu vaccine now i got the flu like <laughs> it's just it's it's a it's one of those things man that like you gotta judge for yourself what you feel would be in the best interest of you and I, I just don't trust that our elected officials, those that we have elected, always have our best interests. Because at the end of the day, they're going to do what is in the best interest of the country. And that is financially. That is economically. Like, and if you don't factor into that model, then you're on the outside and at the end of the day when it comes to the military when they infiltrate other places they can care less about life they have to do what they're ordered to do like that mentality is instilled that's a part of government people it's cool like <laughs> we can sit here all day and have that type of conversation but i definitely appreciate mises uh for this track not to, like I said, not to be so long-winded. It's just one of those things right now. It's such a touchy subject uh, when it comes to COVID-19 because of what we experienced in 2020 with lockdowns, face masks, and all of that that took place. And so, you know, some uh, when you hear a track like this, people automatically get in their feelings. They feel some type of way. And you have to, um, you know, as a person, not be so quick to think that your side is right. You have to be able to listen to both sides and find the fact. <laughs>
and if you look hard enough you'll see that the dollar signs kind of lead to certain like we've had these trials bro we've had these 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 uh trials of different pharmaceutical co companies and and different things like that so we can't act like it's not a thing bro like you you can't be so naive to think that it's not a thing um and so i appreciate uh mises dropping this this official vid and just putting his perspective out there um whether you agree or not that's up to you but i appreciate him for being candid and just speaking from his perspective um so it was definitely dope for me um i did enjoy the visuals of this track and uh the bill gates and uh the money and like just oh my gosh um and like he said you know on on his end from the re religion side of things you know um if you've ever read the bible it talks about you know for the you know the root of evil you know that's the love of for the love of money or mammon you know like that's where that root of evil and that's what he was talking about here you know in this track on the hook um so i appreciate mises for dropping this track man hopefully you guys enjoyed the track um and i apologize that i rant my rant went so long but um you know it's just it is what it is man but uh anyways guys we're gonna keep this moving make sure you stay locked to this channel your video is coming up next make sure you smash that like subscribe if you are new and i will catch you guys in the next one until then shady crew stay shady out there